Does Sri Lanka really need a central bank? What about a currency board? A central bank is a financial institution that is responsible for providing money to a country. But many central banks, especially in developing countries which are loosely pegged to the US dollar and also print money, fails to provide good money. They have high inflation and currency depreciation. Economists in those countries generally think that they can get growth by printing money to keep the interest rates down. But instead of growth, they get currency crisis and high levels of inflation. Now, this is what happened to Sri Lanka. Developed countries also had similar problems in the late 1960s and 70s after the gold standard was broken by the Federal Reserve, which printed too much money. However, in the 1980s, they solved the problem by clean floating their currencies and replacing gold with a low inflation target as an anchor to control money. Fast-growing countries like Singapore, Hong Kong and Dubai also avoided printing money and set up currency boards or similar arrangements where the exchange rate did not change. A currency board does not give economists or politicians power to manipulate rates. They say they cannot respond to crisis. However, most countries with currency boards have no crisis and some have sovereign wealth funds as well. We had a currency board from 1885 to 1950 until a central bank was set up. Some economists have suggested that we should re-implement a currency board to prevent the economic crisis like the one we have now and the instability that was seen from 1950 onwards. But there is no official plan to set up a currency board yet. What do you think? 